is DJI Neo 2 and in this video I'm going to test the active track on this drone just because of the obstacle avoidance and some extra sensors now this drone can track the cars as well so here is my car and right now I'm going to I'm going to drive my car and let's scan my car in the active track and let's see how this drone will follow me I hope this drone will not disappoint me we have obstacle avoidance 360 so let's put that into the test I will drive my car normally and then on the second round I will drive my car fast between these trees and let's see how it goes if this drone can survive or not let's get started
So <laughs> right before the crash, the drone hit the twigs and branches twice. Then look at that when the drone had accident. I don't think anything is damaged on this drone so far. Just the battery came out of the drone after the crash. Let's put the battery back in there and see if the drone has still power. But so far the drone was performing very nicely. There we go. Back into the life. Approached edge of altitude zone. Working 100%. And this cover came off and there, let me just plug it back. ready to fly again so this was the crazy active track test on this drone i'm very very glad this drone can this drone can track your cars also now on neo one we never had this option we only could be we only was, was only possible to track humans and bikes but here now we can we can track actually the cars as well and it was very very nice until until i tried some speed runs so the drone has obstacle avoidance but obviously this kind of these kind of twigs and and you are in the speed even the bigger drones can also fail so this drone performed really really nice and i'm actually really impressed with the obstacle avoidance on this drone that was amazing i hope you like this video if you do like this video please subscribe my channel i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao